Little random acts of kindness go a long ways. And it paid out in big dividends for the Gorums. Not because they were looking for it. They were getting the dividend in their heart. And we're getting ready to get this show on the road. I'm going to keep this quick. Use code FATHERSDAY23 at jegs.speedwayvideo.org to get $20 off your $200 purchase of Jegs tools or garage gear before Father's Day. Jegs. Jim has been taking pictures here for 46 years. If you'd please rise, we're gonna take a moment of silence. Jim lost his father here recently. We thank you so much. Sorry for your loss. Thank you for being out here. Three wide as they go into turn number one and Todd Latour gonna take the top spot. These drivers have to be careful, make sure they don't go faster than 24 seconds. And Courtney Breeden has broken out for the lead, side by side. CJ Creech and Tom Latour. And they've got another one. CJ Creech has just broken out the race leader. Tom Latour looking for the win. They're trying to push him across the line. They can go too fast. Well, the leader is going 24 seconds. And you can't go faster than 24 seconds. Therefore, you can't pass the leader. You just got to show him how to win. That's not good ethics. That's not, that, that's not good ethics. Green flag for the E-Mod heat race. Still in the boat with the race lead. Corpy all over the back of that 75 car trying to look, find a way around. This is a good re-debut for car number 75. First time back since January. Still in the boat with car number 75. Corpy second, third at the line. I think Jarrett stole it there ahead of Curtis Robinson. Green flag back out for this ground pounder heat race. Art Koonsman back out in front, going to come to two laps to go. Two to go for Art Koonsman in the nine. Battle for second. Look at Hank Sanders in the 90. Big top to bottom move. Crossover coming off a two, but not able to get back around the 44. Toby Smith taking the checkered flag. Art Koonsman. George Spears in the 23, way out in front as the field is bunched up behind. 48 and 16, Justin Spears in that Dodge Challenger. Whoa, the 16 of Russell uh, Gould getting all stacked up with Pernesti. George Spears out in front, but here comes his brother, Justin. Justin Spears in the 48, had a peek to the inside. Now here comes Blake Clouser looking to the outside. Battle is going to be for second in this one as they come off turn four. Final heat race of the night goes to George Spears in front of a 23. Blake Clouser grabs second. Here they come. Field looks for the green flag. They have it. We're underway. Gorham right to the back bumper on this drive. Through Daniel Webster off turn number four. Webster will be on one. What a move by the 10 of George Gorham. George Gorham in the 10. Makes his way to the inside. Trying to power up. Take the lead away. He's clear. What a power move for George Gorham. Smoke out of 99. Big time explosion out of Carmen 99. Bobby Gordon. Bobby did a good job to keep that car down on the inside of the racetrack, potentially keeping all the bad stuff out of the racing groove. George Gorham in the 10. Away the lead, and here comes Michael Atwell in number 55. Atwell looking to the bottom, sparks fly as he goes down on the apron. Here comes Brad May to the outside. That is not what you want. It is the 10 of Gorham, and here's the battle for second. Atwell has company. Here comes Brad May in car number nine. May using all the racetrack and takes over second spot. Finch, 51, Atwell, 55. A couple of white cars going at it off two. That's allowing the top two to scoot away, and here comes Webster. No well, contact between Finch and Atwell, and Finch has a right front tire down. Just like that, Jake Finch up in a shower of sparks. That'll draw the yellow. The young Jake Finch giving you a spark show down the front straightaway. Was able to get it woed up and kept it off the wall. He was battling for the third spot. A little bit of contact there with Atwell, and that's all it takes to cut down one of those Hoosier tires. Jake Finch to the inside of Rich Clouser. Finch right back into the thick of things, into the sixth position. Watson rolling forward now in comma 28. Timothy Watson side by side with Michael Atwell. Two-time defending champion of the Big League Memorial. Oh, Finch into the side of Webster. Tire mark on the door, car number 51. Brad May looking to the inside. He's got a run. 
May has to fall back in line. Good battle for the lead. Watson got loose going into one, and now he's got Jake Finch to his inside. Watson made a mistake, and Finch is there to capitalize. Side by side down the front straight away. They touch. They trade paint going into one. Blake starting to go on corner with 10. George Gorham. Halfway home this time by. This is race will really be official. Gorham, May, Atwell, Finch, and Watson, the top five. Then it's Webster, Clouser, Goddard, Sozio, and Vale. Vale, the final call on the lead lap in the 407 machine. Ayers down the bottom of the racetrack. Gives way to the leader. George Gorham continues to lead. Brad May has reeled him back in. I think May took a couple laps. Dropped off the pace just a bit to cool the tires. Maybe he could sense the winds picking up. It might not be around now. Time might be running out. He's got to run. Here comes Brad May to the inside. May and Gorham side by side. Gorham leads that lap by a fender. It's go time at the front. Brad May wrestles George Gorham up the racetrack. He takes over the top spot. Gorham going to come back at it now. Gorham to the inside. Gorham and May side by side for the lead. Gorham powers up. Gorham sideways on the bottom of the racetrack. Brad May around and goodbye, Brad May. You're going to try to set sail in car number nine. And yellow flag is out. Yellow flag is out. The Super Late Model Race has been called official. Brad May is the winner. And the rest of the evening's events have, unfortunately, been canceled. So Brad May is the winner. This race is complete. They said we were right on the edge of the green, and it was almost halfway, and I thought, we got to go all we got. So It looked like you cooled it down, and yeah. then when you went, you went. Yeah, that was, that was my intentions, was to run five or six laps, try to not use a lot of brakes, make sure it, you know, we just really had something, cool it down, and we'd go for it by halfway, and it was right after halfway. It, it worked like we wanted. I knew it would be tough. I didn't know how long it would last if he would be able to outlast us. My goal was to just keep pressure on him and make him you know, try to wear him out, but... He ran a lot better than I was expecting. I think the rain might have made a little difference. He got a little high in the three, and it really kind of opened it up and let me just take advantage of an opportunity. Good run for your first time back in a couple of years. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to finish second to Brad. You know, car was good. We've been good all weekend. No practice. This one-day show makes it very affordable for people like us. I'll continue this coming here the rest of the year. A lot of cars to race with, and uh, you know, tracks fun to race with, and very respectable drivers. Uh, not a lot of cautions, and I think uh, you guys are doing an excellent job of getting the car count up. Kid over here, that's behind me being uh you know a kid but uh <laughs> You know, our goal is to give the customer what they want, when they want it, at the price they want to pay, and then follow it up with just the absolute best customer service. You can find the same part at a hundred different places, but if you find it for less, we're going to match it and we're going to guarantee it. We're going to ship the product same day. We are all about the customer, period. And when you have a question, the associate you're talking to, he's got a car in his garage that he's working on. So when you're talking to Jags, you're talking right to the shop. <laughs>